<laughs> I have it. <laughs> Okay, so, are the reptilians real? Well, I know they're real. A lot of you know they're real and think they are real. More people think they're real or know they're real than don't think they're real or know they're real. Okay, so that's pretty much, so let's deal with that, okay. Because a lot of times, you know, I worry about my sanity. If I'm insane, you know, questioning what's real and true and stuff. You know, because the reptilians have been lying to me a lot. <laughs> they have lied to me, and some of them, you know, they might be expert liars. <laughs> I've heard that the devil is a liar. I read it in a book or something. But they they have lied to me and played me for a fool. Like Leo being Pandar's son. When the Baron de Rothschild, before his body died, you know, he ritualistically made Leo. Anyhow, um... So Leo is a physical, real man in this world who is Pandar's son, who anyhow was part of the lie. <laughs> Lied to me and said he was going to come get me and put me through the fast and take care of me so I could take care of you and help me get out of the situation and never happened. And the thing about George Bush coming to help me, you know, because I wanted it so bad because I know that my master Mason, he, even though he doesn't attend anymore, um, past couple years because the reason that my master Mason is a member of Bohemian Grove was because Drake had inhabited his body for 20 years and so Drake was a member of Bohemian Grove not my master Mason even though my master Mason has been taken there to be used and under mind control and tortured and all kinds of different things he's not consciously allowed to participate in the ritual like Drake was um, you know but George Bush and his dad and Jeb Bush and a whole bunch of people. There's different camps at Bohemian Grove, you know, but my master Mason and George Bush, the same hillbillies camp at Bohemian Grove. And Draken, when he inhabited my master Mason, he, him and George Bush, the reptilian that inhabits George Bush, are, were good friends. You know. So, anyhow, though, but George Bush appeared in my vision about. I'd say about 10 years ago, about 10 years ago, did I realize, maybe 8 years ago, did I realize that George Bush was one of the people, who was, I didn't know he was reptilian at the time, but I knew that he was one of the ones that my visions and stuff had sent me out to try to bring home, or, because the reptilians are a reality, they've been a part of our reality <laughs> since the beginning of time, everything that we need and ha need you know, like our immortality or our uh, ability to hold our memories throughout incarnations, you know, like, um, and a lot of the powers and abilities that they have are what we are lacking and what we have, the warm blood, the warmth, and the emotion, and amongst other things are what the reptilians need, and so they have a part of us that we are missing and we have a part of them that we, they are missing. Um, oh. but anyhow so me wanting George Bush to come get me and put me through the fast and help me and stuff you know I was just because like Captain Jim Carter you know one of the people that I know who's a mason in Jeb Bush's temple in Florida you know, I know him personally too and stuff so I know that the Bushes have gotten that they know about me I know this for a fact that they know about me because I've been at this for a long time this coming Easter will be 17 years, 17 years I've been doing this. Um, Monday, Thursday, three days before Easter. But so anyhow, I wanted George Bush, you know, they said, oh yeah, well, he's going to come get me and put me through the fast and help me, which turned out to be a lie. So Leo and, you know, they've been, um, <laughs> you know, what, what, piss, what, piss, what confuses me though is that Pendar, like when I was talking to him and my master Mason and Drake and before, um, that, that would mean that they were lying to me too. Pandora's lied to me before, but not a whole bunch. But you, you know, I've caught him in lies, and I think it's just. But so it's real hard for me to be able to know what's true as far as what 
they are sane because they lie a lot. Um, but I did not call my master mason and make arrangements to meet with him, even though I will be doing that with, a, with a, this week. I will call him and I will arrange to meet with him in his office again. And um, I know somebody that gives me Zanny bars, and that's the only way I can get out of the house because Larry, won't, he, I'm like a prisoner here. I'm not allowed to do anything. I went to get water the other day and got my ass. Anyway, I'm a lot of trouble because I went ten minutes to go get water, walk the dogs, go get water. I got accused of doing everything under the book. That bitch Jennifer that makes those Veritas paintings came over here and told him that I was up to my old tricks again, whatever, because she wanted her movie back before I got a chance to finish it up, uploading it. Um, the movie, I, it's called The Dark Crystal, but on my videos it's called um, The Crystal Caves, Dark Star, Dark Crystal Pro Prophecy. But she was like freaked out on some psychotic fucking freak out. She wanted her movie back then now, and they had, had, she had to have it right then. I'd only had it since the night before. But the night before, I went to her house, and I told her that I didn't want to bring home any more of her Veritas paintings, that I would not be bringing my Anashiana stones over anymore with her shifting, you know, with her, because I have lost my faith and my hope and my belief in Anashiana and Veritas, thinking I'm crazy, and I've lost hope and belief and all that but so that's why but still anyhow though the video or the movie the dark crystal you want to know what the reptilians really really look like really for sure truly what they look like in the reptilian form is the, the lizards the reptilians that they have in that movie the dark crystal there's so much truth to that I wonder if the part about the three suns has any truth to it but but the reptilians are not cartoons, they're real, and they're much more fierce looking and much more frightening, and they don't eat with spoons and forks and sit at a table. They tear the flesh and blood out of your, rip your neck out and rip your guts out with their teeth. Okay, but the robes that they wear and stuff, the reason they wear those big robes and stuff like that is because underneath they're all naked, because when they, on their reptilian form, they're big, and plus they all, they want all their sexual organs, ex or access all their sexual organs. When I first met Drake, because the first year I knew my master Mason, and you know, Drake and the reptilian inhabited his body, and so um, I didn't have the chance to talk to the reptilian. I got to talk to Drake any time I wanted with him in my master mason's body, with full consciousness of Pendar, and he would talk with me about my past lives, and he remembered all that stuff and and everything that was going on because he was Pendar and Elizabeth's ambassador. But he um. my thought again damn it oh I hate that have you ever had a thought that's like sucked up before you even get to finish thinking it before you get to secure it in your mind you know it's like the emotion sometimes I'll have a thought and then before I even get 